we have done another new installation and we're going to record everything I do I have done already some things so I went to the liquid hub from Eric Dubois Ultimate Linux Mint 18 Cinnamon and in order to get the latest um, well clone actually technical name clone from github I just press here and then I minimize it right mouse click open in terminal first of all I install the program sudo app install git with double l eric is going to say that's not correct so voila already installed then I did a git clone and then copy paste the address and everything is going to be downloaded and put into this little folder on my desktop but I did already all that and I put it in data folder so this is um, okay I close the window that will be much more better for the sound so I have downloaded ultimate Linux Mint 8 and cinnamon what did I do? I installed already the simple screen recorder, this one, otherwise I can't show you guys this. And then it's up to, well, whatever you like first to do, but I like to get it, get all the software first, and the software is this, install all needed software latest. You can omit and delete and add stuff you want, as you can see is almost unreadable as the blue anyway and there are ways to change that I think it was in the fonts and colors something like that will be even better so it's dark so now you can read what's going on Spotify block Google Chrome block sublime text latest and variety for the wallpaper so the four things which is well Chrome is not directly a very important one but you can see Netflix on it so those items are the really coming from a personal uh, perspective from personal download folder so this is getting it from Google this is getting it from sublime text itself and this is getting it from the PPA from Peter Levi so that being said we're gonna run this and then we'll see next what to do so you go to open internal I used to have a button here so if I want to have it again then you go to toolbar just check all icons so you have more icons here and more icons here and I like this little button there so install all needed software and now I can get a coffee and wait for it so I'll pause the movie and I'll go on. Once all the software is done, as you can see, we ended here with the cursor team. We can um, check out what's next. So, well, there is also a quick install for the guys who want that. And the quick install is just running scripts like that, um, which is also interesting to see. Because these ones are going to be the latest uh, to run because this is going to fix the hard-coded icons in your system but um, we'll do it manually now so we have uh, we run this one if you want to have the latest icons from Saturday which I really want so I'm gonna get those In the meantime, I've made so many scripts and so many trials and tests and, and experiments that I have another GitHub, which is called Icons Sari Extra Latest, which is going to get all those icons and put them also in the icon file, which is here, icon folder. So these are now 54 themes, all Sardi and you just delete the ones you don't like and then you can select it so we go up to the themes and let's change it so mint x dark you can see a lot of colors a lot of coloring i do like for this time the colora polo is better yeah 
and it kind of looks like this with a white dish icon on top okay okay so we've done that we've changed the icon theme so that was these two there is another one that's this one super ultra flat new mix remix which is a more playful icon you can add any icon to it because it will always fit this needs to be circle shadow an icon in the middle but the other one is just free style icons not so rigid in the icons here as you can see so this is super ultra flat new mix remix and the latest let's take the latest we've made is the one with the remix of evo pop which is of course another icon theme so we have mixed them together so we can have the nice folders from evo pop but the icons from the apps from the ones from uh, super here i see already one that's not uh, changing so backup tool if you really want to see it and it's maybe interesting that i show you guys user share have to have it here as well so user share applications control d it's now here that's what i wanted to have so i can always check and this is the problem we open it with sublime text we've installed it via this script earlier on Control f icon and that's the reason why it will always show always show this icon because it's a hard coded uh, link or pathway so we're gonna fix this not manually we are not eager to do work manually so we just run things and what do we run we going to open another uh, window and then data mix mins and we have here this where is it hardcore fixer latest let's run it it's getting code from fogalong on the internet it downloaded it in the temp file here and there it's gonna run and next time you reboot it's just gone that's the the nature of the temp directory so it's is fixing some stuff, GD by GNC hard sync. There are a lot of stuff that has been fixed, but not all of them. So many of, of these icons have been fixed here and, and there, but the ones that we wanted to fix uh, are fixed now. Okay, no problem. So these are solved. Let's show you guys sublime text. Control find icon. There you go so it has been fixed it's a new update i remember the message on of, of github from flogalong that it says again uh, we fixed uh, one of the icons for linux mint so that being said we re really don't need any more this hard hard code fixer personal latest and what is this this was just fixing the things that were not fixed so the mint backup was a problem and uh, we're not we don't need it anymore we could use the fixing of the set let's see if that's still a problem um, I think it's this one let's see what happens here sublime text control find icon it's still accessoires text editor so if I want it it will show this kind of icon and in Saturday it will show another kind of icon but I did make a special kind of icon for the, the set but that's dangerous of course because when you change icon theme then it will be it will break if the icon theme didn't make an icon for the XED so maybe best thing to do is keep it alone keep, keep, uh, keep it as it is and not run this one so I'm gonna rename it till it's necessary again latest come on Eric no longer needed dot sh 
Voila. But I leave it there because, well, some icons will surely pop up and we need this code to change those little icons. So that's done. We have our icons and we have fixed the icons that were troublesome. Let's take a look. All these icons should be round. All of them, everywhere. And I think everything looks just fine. It's these icons that should look, should look fine. It's not the ones in the user share applications because there are some exceptions. Just open them and you will see that there is no icon there. That's never intended to be, to have an icon. Those are programs, but not intended to, to be visible for the end user. Okay, so, so what's next? So um, you like conkeys? I do. So I have this conkey Arola latest, which I'm gonna install. And I'll get my password. Git wants to work. It's cloning Arola. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just remember, just follow the things. Yes. Stopping conkeys. The font is not installed. Yes. Yes. Well, so that's that. We have uh, Aurora installed. So let's have a look. Here she is. Control D. And we have it here. Uh, let's take across, for instance. It's going to look like this. And then we're gonna say open internal install me this thing. Yes, install me. Yes, install the font. Here is my code. And well, on the next screen, unfortunately you can't see it, the dual screen monitor. Um, we have the Linux Mint logo to start with and Aureola Acres at my right screen. So that's working. I have to trust me on that. Data. So we've done this. I think I'm gonna delete this. This is an older one, an older version of Aurora. Uh, some of the things will work. I'll keep it in. And uh, some of the things won't work. Because of the new version, there's a new version of Conkey, and this is written all for the new version, and this is the old version. We've done this, we've done that, we've done this, that, we should do that, we did that, we did this, that. this is to boot repair, if you have an, uh, a Windows, for instance, and a Linux, it can fix your boot repair, that can, you can access Windows again. Brackets latest is for programming. I only use it when I need to know hexadecimal decimal codes, uh, the color of the hexadecimal code. So you float over it with your mouse and you see the color. Well, my Canon, that's a printer. So, okay, do it. That's it. Meaning, I go to printer. I add my printer. I wait for my printer. There is my printer forward blah 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 apply print test page okay done well just here the printer start the cinnamon latest you only have you want to really the nightly builds which I don't want at this point the group customizer again for people who have for dual boots you can customize which one you boot first I would do the standard for instance if you want to start standard with Windows or Linux when you install Windows and then install Linux Linux becomes the first one the default one you don't want that well group customizer customizer is there to do it visually for you arc team uh, you can install the red arc team or uh, this make install so it's going to uh, compile it and this is not I think this is just a uh, download that file you're going to install 
Blackbirds themes, all themes, GTK is a theme, Vertex a theme, Mintwire theme, Numix latest. So the circle Numix is being used as a fallback. If an icon does not exist, it will surely exist there. Peak was a program to make animated GIFs, not needed at this point. Spotify I want to have, but Spotify is included in the last, uh, this file here, the, the install all files, where is it again? Here, install all files, sublime text, we have already opened it, is installed. Team view, where you want to see somebody else's computer, not necessary at the moment. Tomahawk, I, well, we don't know anymore what Tomahawk was, but um, is there. This one I want to run, install ZSH, so a code to have nice colorful themes when you go in a terminal and we are often, a lot of the time we are in the terminal, so I want to have a nice terminal and this can do it for me. In the meantime you hear maybe on the background our printer finishing its so something um, pops up and well this this goes away too fast the thing you have to do is says you have to change shell for Eric minus s slash bin z sh so you have to write this line yourself because I don't know what your name is so this is my username sudo change shell username minus s and where is zsh situated in the main folder so done that if you log off then you'll see the effect of that this is where everything is situated blank themes i do like a blank theme so i'm gonna run that too it's going to put it into the hidden folder for the blanks we can go there, but it will be easier to install maybe the plank. I want to have it anyway. So plank is uh, installed, but you don't see it. So let's minimize some stuff. There it is. Control click preferences. I don't want it at the bottom. I want it at the top. I want it to be zooming like that. A little bit of Mac feeling and do I have themes no I don't have any themes good thing uh, probably because the folder was not yet made so blank themes we'll run a terminal again after with a run the blank and then you can go oops then you can go and check if you restart it so I'm gone let's see if it works like this Whoa. Well, arc plank. I've made one myself. It's not that easy. You can follow the tutorial on Eric Dubois. So, this is the mint Y theme. This is my mint Y theme. You saw that here. And um, yeah, well, chosen, done. Quick install is a way to run all the, the shells, the scripts you want. And uh, update to the very latest. Well, I just heard that there is a 47.4 out. So let's make it together. Uh, a four, a four seven four, control C, control V. Four. Let's make this one. So you see that's not that easy and not that difficult. You can make it yourself. So four seven four. I forgot a dash. Here's my dash. Yep. And the latest L is gone. Uh huh. So insert the latest. Wow. Open it. Display it. Go to this line. Stop somewhere here, maybe. Control C. I have it still open. Control V. Before. Uh -huh. Voila. There we are. We are actually in the 474. I do know there's no 75. You can always try by just running everything, of course. Takes a bit longer. 
because it has to download a lot. So this is the very last. These are release candidates, which is just fine. But this is our the one we want. This one I want AMD 64 I want and AMD 64 I want. So it's all um, well follow what I do and then it'll be just fine. So this one delete. Oh it kind of looks awkward now. So this one I want. Copy link location to this program. Yep. Control V. This is the old app. So we're going to the old app. This one. Copy link location. Alt tap. Control V. This is this one. Copy link location and let's copy that there. Control V, save. So we've added a new kernel to our line, to our lists of updates. And the only thing we should do now is run it. So you already double click it or you just want to see it more so it keeps open. But this is what happens, it's going to download the three files is going to ask a hey, you want it yes, I want it type in your password and now it's just waiting in the meantime I can use my time efficiently I go to the preferences I will, don't want to show the menu bar I don't want to have this kind of look I need a little bit more voila and then command colors Transparency, yeah, transparency, something like that. And then scrolling, I don't want to scroll bar, don't want the limits, so that's okay. So next time up, Control Alt T. This is my terminal, how it's going to look. Uh, right mouse click, I'm going to make the letters a bit bigger, I forgot that. I like the letters to be a bit larger. So when I make screenshots, you can read it a little bit better than Google+. That being said, still waiting for the kernels. Here the installation of kernel to finish. Don't worry too much about the errors and all the things you might be missing and the logs you're going to put out. Once you restart and everything works, you're fine. It's time to Pause the move music or the movie music, the movie. But I just thought of something. I can change some more while we are waiting. I can make a custom icon. This one. I can go to another icon, like for instance the Sardi icon. I provide in Sardi. I have in scalable in Popopom. Hope it's places. Start here symbolic. I can have some icons. Like Linux Mint, for instance, I can, I do like. Voila, now it's Linux Mint. And just to tell people that I'm working with Linux Mint 18, otherwise, they would be asking me this question on uh, Google Plus later. So, this is Linux Mint 18 Cinnamon. So, that's a question I won't be getting, I hope. So, that's something else you can do. Um, thinking thinking later on I will make I will have to make an update so I have to oh, it's finished so we can go on optimize stability and security yes sure I'm all in for stability local why not let's go local so for me local what does it mean it means I go to Gwendol Le Bihan. And it means I will go to one of the above, Nucleus or Ubuntu Skynet. Well, it doesn't matter, it's all quite fast. Apply. And then we can update cache. And all the packages will come from those servers. Fine by me. And then install the updates. 
Let's quickly do that as well. I do think we're almost there. Just something that popped into my mind. We will not be seeing Plank next time we start up. So what I do is start up applications. And I'll say add, choose application, Plank, I type it. Voila, add applications, done. Next time Plank will be started automatically and these are all the updates I'll have to make for this new clean installation on mid-September 2016. I do believe we've done, we've covered everything. This one is maybe ignore updates for this update packages because, well, Linux uh, kernel 4.4.0 is not of uh, any importance, meaning I'm trying to install the 4.7.4, which is uh, a later kernel. So don't bother me with it again. So right mouse click and I told him not to show it anymore. I explained everything now, uh, the movie must end uh, because of the kernel that I'm going to load now when I reboot. I do well I will do an update here install updates again all that that must be done and um, well this is how I work and what I do after clean installation of Linux Mint. I do believe I've covered most of the important things and um, check out my YouTube account or Eric Dupont. We have made now about 100 movies about customizing your Linux system. So enjoy! Hi, in the meantime, I have uh, restarted, rebooted the kernel, remember? So let's have a look. We are at 4.7.4. And we are at new, we are, let's make it a bit clearer, voila, Saturday, September 17th, we are at 474 generic kernel. We have already changed some stuff here, we have our own mint white dark, it's blue, normal mint white dark is kind of blue, but this is arch blue and um, everything is changed here to these colors as you can see also here in these little where is it for instance here in these little things and sliders and, and so on so the elements have been changed into another color that can be downloaded from a github from Eric Dubois with uh, all themes and icons that being said, um, I do find that my variety wallpaper is not uh, running at this point, so I'm gonna say to run it and say uh, just not log in to save some time. Change wallpaper on the start, which is great every five minutes, and download a wallpaper every two minutes, for instance, and you can have 5000 megabytes for all your wallpapers to put inside. There are effects since uh, I don't know, coral. Yeah, I'm gonna pick at least 100%. I want to have big wallpapers. You can change the color here as well. So, custom image. I have a custom image in the icons from Sun. There is a scalable. Um, one moment. No. Okay. Nobody coming. I thought somebody was going to interrupt me. So, variety dark, light, light. Mm -hmm just grayish because all the icons are here gray and then open and we have a uniform look which is great and now we can just scroll over it and there we go we have this little kind guy which is quite nice but let's say we don't like it we don't like this picture i do have this covered you go to data you go to teams not teams icons back but ultimate linux mint there are still some stuff we did not explain and one of them is the configuration of apps so the variety shortcuts i do like my shortcuts meaning if i don't like a wallpaper i press alt t trash so what i do is i did a dump from all the shortcuts i made manually and now i'm gonna do a load a run in terminal and he asked me the password 
some software will be in installed, the dconf CLI, um, so command line in interface. And that's, the, that's that. So when I press now Alt, it's gone. Alt, can't delete. I don't have permissions because it's just coming from the user share backgrounds. So I do Alt N for next. Alt N, Alt N. Alt P, Alt F is favorites, so this is going to be in my favorites folder, and that's what I did. So my shortcuts have been imported. I don't need to make them manually again and again on every uh, computer I make. So this Control Shift Escape, Control Shift Escape, you will see that you get the GNOME system monitor and all the varieties here. Okay, so if I make new shortcuts for myself, I'll just save them as a, a dump file. This dump is coming here and then it's going to be reloaded on another computer. Interesting, no? I don't need this at that point. This is one I like. Since I make a lot of full, um, uh, WordPress websites, I need rather needed to have in JPEG than in PNG. So I'm going to run this too. But when I make a picture, so I do a print screen, here it is, it's going to already have GP, GPG at the end, I just managed to delete it, so print screen again, and then arrow keys, voila. But if I didn't run this, it would be PNG, it would be 2 megabytes, too much for a website, so that's that. This and that, Numa scripts not really necessary, GIMP at this point, there are some scripts I can run, not needed at this point. And Firefox, stop Firefox from saying, well, this is embarrassing. But that's uh, something else, it's not really a bug, at least not really. Not bugging me. But it can be fixed. So that's that. Canon within that fixes with that. Dropbox fix. Ooh. Yeah. So Dropbox is not needed in this testing computer but it is needed to stop it and restart it that's basically all it does dropbox stop dropbox start and if you do that then the dropbox icon will come in the toolbar i've made a move about that so let's refer there mint white theming is you want to have an own color like i do have here quickly show you that i have different mint wise i can go for fire fire is probably yes hot so red so voila i've changed everything to a reddish mint white theme and that's all that's to it and this is all explained on uh, github uh, sorry on uh, youtube as well what do you do you need these two files this is installing packages and this is actually to change the color and then you have your own theme with your own icons that's great solutions for problems not really because again the dropbox so i should delete this one i think <laughs> double and then the themes if you want to have a mint white dark trans or minty transparent theme so this is going to be transparent then you can copy paste it in the themes which is not yet in my system so ctrl d now we have it here are the themes i do have some themes as you can see here they are all right um i think we covered now everything the only thing i just you just saw very quickly is this one themes icons pack you should check it out it's an, uh, a way to install all possible great icon themes and themes for your linux mint and all you have to do is run this sucker here and everything that's in here will be installed you can also uninstall everything that you installed or just a bit because you'll see that ambiance and radiance is adding too much uh, themes to the theme manager well, I do think uh, I've covered everything. We saw everything here. So um, now it's time to have fun with your system. Ciao.
Well, we just restarted. We have um, a new kernel for 7.4 and we updated everything. And what do we see? Backup tool is back as it was. So it's not confirmed to where it, uh, it used to be. It should be. Neither is the upload manager. Those are not SARI icons. So it's hard coded. So do leave the map ultimate Linux Mint 8 and Cinnamon somewhere on your system. And then each time you get a new update and your icons are again screwed up, you just run hard coded fix your latest. Open your password. Da -da -da -da. Puppies power. And there you go. Those are the ones that were not correct and he has corrected them. Let's go check it out. Let's check, check, check. Never believe, never assume. Backup tool fixed and way down there somewhere upload manager so if you scroll up slowly and check all the icons they all should be round and should be sardi i guess and i guess they are so that's fine to check out other sardi icons these are the general sardi icons but we have been inventive we can make a sardi flat arc icons which are the arc icons from GitHub from uh, GitHorst from Horst uh, So it looks like this. Anything is possible. Just mix it around. You find a lot of tutorials online on YouTube to make your own icons. With we will we'll try and make and mix other icons in the future. But you can do so too. So please give it a try. Just run some scripts and you have colors like this as well anything is possible you have 16 million colors to say this is the body icon the paper and the top change it around have fun